Hello, I'm Ken Fobb. This is NewsNet, Baton Rouge. Grab a tea of coffee as I go over with you headlines and news from our local area and region. Tessie Strickland of Kentwood, Louisiana, was traveling with her husband, Tommy, who happens to be a volunteer fire chief from St. Helena Parish, in a Jeep near Silverton, Colorado, when their travel group was forced to cross what is known as the Pole Creek, which is a small but fast-flowing stream. Tommy and Tessie's Jeep stalled in the middle of the creek, and somehow Tessie was swept away by the rushing waters. Authorities in Colorado have been searching for Tessie Strickland since Thursday of last week. They say the search for Tessie is ongoing and they're now using dogs to search the area. Her husband, Tommy Strickland, is the chief of the 6th Ward Volunteer Fire Department in St. Helena Parish. Meanwhile, the St. Helena Fire Department says Tommy Strickland is okay and his children are with him as he recovers in the state of Colorado. I will give you updates as I acquire them, so please stay close. In the city of Baton Rouge, law enforcement officials are investigating five shootings which have taken place within a four-day period. There was a shooting at 3.50 a.m. on Monday on Calumet Street. Authorities say it was the fifth to take place in Baton Rouge in four days. The first shooting was reported on Friday on Jasper Avenue. And over the past weekend, authorities had to respond to several other shootings wherein several people were injured. All in all, more than 12 people were injured by gunshots in the past few days. So because of this rapid spike of violence in the city of Baton Rouge, the mayor and the police chief and other city officials held an emergency meeting at the Goodwood Library on Tuesday evening to discuss how to curtail this violence. According to Attorney General Jeff Landry, 12 more men have been booked on charges related to child sex crimes days after another sweeping crackdown was completed. Law enforcement officials and prosecutors now intend to prosecute these predators to the full extent of the law. The following persons were booked and arrested. Cody Andre, 22 of Laplace. Dylan Broussard, 18 of Lafayette. Corey Dunn, 29 of Mandeville. Jeune Foster, 23 of Reserve. Scott Himmelman, 58 of Lafayette. Jordan Johnson, 21 of Lake Charles. Stephen Lewis, 35 of Angie. Andrew Mossbroker, 22 of Eunice. Troy Raxdale, 71 of Lafayette, Edwin Smith, 27 of Lafayette, and Ryan Woolley, 23 of Plaquemine. Earlier this year, in Ponchatoula, a school teacher was fired after a video showed him breaking up a fight by pinning a student to the ground. The Tangible Hope Parish superintendent and other school officials justified firing the man by saying the nature of his response when breaking up the fight, his use of force and profanity, did not adhere to the school's professional standards. But in court recently, Arthur Rusty Baralu, the, the fired school teacher, defended his actions. After entertaining arguments from both sides, the judge ruled that teacher Rusty Baralu will get his job back. The judge, Brenda Ricks, said in essence that the superintendent's decision to fire him was arbitrary and capricious because there was no substantial evidence to support her decision under the circumstances. The judge also rejected the argument that the teacher's actions were racially motivated. Therefore, the school teacher will be reinstated to his job effective immediately and will be reimbursed for his lost salary, health insurance, and other payments. Finally, the deadline for IBM in downtown Baton Rouge to hire new employees in exchange for huge tax breaks from the state and local government has passed as of June 30th. This was the second chance granted to IBM by the state of Louisiana made back in 2017. IBM was supposed to staff its new downtown facility with 800 new jobs and employees under an original contract with Governor Bobby Jindal in exchange for nearly $150 million in state and local tax breaks over a 17-year period. But again, IBM as of Sunday, June 30th, missed the mark again. But the state of Louisiana has again renegotiated its deal with IBM to allow a little more time. So IBM now has until August of this year to meet its quota of 800. Otherwise, IBM will have to pay back to the state of Louisiana $10,000 for every position that remains unfilled. These have been headlines and news from our local area and region. I'm yours truly, Ken Fobb. I'll see you next time right here on Newsnet, Baton Rouge.